Hey everyone, and welcome to another Learning by Doing, where you get to watch a data scientist, a real data scientist, go through some pandas exercises and kind of see what I'm thinking about, how I, how I get hung up on things, um, uh, what sort of goes through my head, and then we get to go through the solutions afterwards to go ahead and see if that lines up. It's helped my students before going ahead and walking through these things sort of side by side, so I hope it will help you. Without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, so we're doing visualizations, we're doing the Titanic disaster. I'm not sure if this is a pun or not. But anyway, so we're doing the Titanic disaster, so let's get started. So this Titanic data set, this is kind of like the famous Kaggle data set, um, as sort of like the intro one that sort of shows off like, hey, what you can do and post on Kaggle. Um, I believe it's been downloaded to our repository. So we can just go with URL equals, yep, exactly. Um, and then pandas uh, can go ahead, so pd.readcsv. This can go ahead and read this data in even from a URL, so always helpful. Um, so URL, the final thing that we always wanna check, um, you wanna make sure that this is comma separated. It is comma separated, so we are totally good. So df equals do do do, assigned to a variable called Titanic. Titanic equals df, uh, df.head. Great, um, so we've got some data. Let's get started with doing some visualizations. It's a short one, there's not too many things here. Uh, so set the passenger ID as the index, Titanic um, dot set index um, as the passenger ID. You know, this can be useful, um, especially if you're doing joins and stuff like that, or if you're doing some selection that requires it. So uh, we can also do this in place equals true. So we can just do this in one line. Uh, create, <laughs> create a pie chart. Oh boy, um, presenting the male and female proportion. Um, hmm, I wonder if if there's a way to do this. Um, plot, um, I guess we can do uh, Titanic dot, what is it called? Is it called male, female, sex um, dot plot kind equals pi. That's my favorite kind. Um, yeah, I just don't even think that, oh, whoa. Um, not equal, okay, okay. Hmm. This is, I believe, a positive sign. So let's try this out. So let's make a new column called, because generally speaking, um, these libraries, uh, Seaborn, Pandas, stuff like that, they really like things that are um, true, false, that are uh, numeric. So let's go ahead and make a new column called is male. Um, which will be sex equals male. Uh, okay, sex equals uh, male. Okay, of course that doesn't work there, but let's go ahead and see if the is male works. Okay, that still doesn't work. Um, no numeric data to plot. Okay, hmm. So maybe if we actually make this times one, so maybe if we make this numeric, it will actually do it. Um, I don't know, let's see. So we are trying to do a pie plot. Oh wow, look at that. Boy, that is, that is, that is not what I expected. That is not correct. Um, okay, let's just make sure Titanic is male. It makes sense um, that it does. Uh, ultimately, I think what happened here is that it uses this index as kind of like the X and the Y type of thing. I, I don't, so, um, yeah, let's let's try this just one more time uh, with just, uh, let's, let's, let's go look at what the matplotlib uh, definition of this is. So import um, matplotlib dot pyplot. Um, as PLT, um, I just don't know how to use do pie plots in Seaborn. You never do pie plots. Um, they're kind of like a little bit old school, and generally speaking, there's some stuff around like human eyes can't see proportion exactly well on these types of things. But we are asked to do it, so it's a pie plot. So how does it work? So it needs an x. Um, so oh, it, the fractional area of each wedge is given by okay x oh. Right, okay, 
So what we need to do in this case, so this doesn't this doesn't do uh, a lot of the magic stuff for you. So we need to uh, Titanic um, dot. Uh, let's just try value count. Um, uh, value. Oh right. Um, let's do um, sex dot uh, value counts. Okay. Great. And maybe this will take a nice plot pi. Okay, so that worked. Um, you just kind of need to know what the, I don't use the pie plot that often. So this, this is kind of nice. So many fewer females than there were males. Um, it'd be interesting to see that ratio across different, um, uh, different classes. Maybe they'll ask us about that later on. Uh, create a scatter plot with fair paid and age. Uh, differ the plot color by gender. Great, so scatter plot by, okay, great. So this, I love using Seaborn to go ahead and do um, import Seaborn as SNS to do the majority of my plotting. It's just super nice. It makes the visualizations really crisp. Um, it's also sort of limits the scope of things you need to know since there's only so many visualizations inside of uh, Seaborn. Um, so scatter plot will want the um, X to be the uh, age equals uh, age. We'll want uh, y to be the uh, fair, and then we'll want uh, data to be uh, titanic, and we'll want the hue, uh, which is the color, hue to be the um, sex. Okay, great. Um, so there you have it. Interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, less differentiated than I would have thought. Um, yeah, I, well, anyways, so this is this is what you get. Um, kind of cool, <clears throat> kind of cool. How many people survived Titanic dot survived dot survived? Great dot sum. I'm assuming this is a bool. Um, let's just assume, let's just make sure that is a bool. Yes, it is. Um, so it looks like 342 survived. Create a histogram with the fair paid. Yeah, great. So SNS uses something called distplot. Really awesome for this type of thing. Titanic dot fair. Super awesome. Um, so pretty cool. You can see it's definitely right skewed. There's only like a couple of people that paid 500. Most people didn't pay too much. I think a lot of this is part of the crew. Um, so there's a lot of questions here, you know. Um, yeah, so for me, you know, even down here, you know, which... Yeah, let's separate out this by or separate this out by crew. Um, even separating this out by crew would be super interesting as well. Um, is there a crew thing with this? I always forget. Survived passenger class. Maybe it's in the passenger class or in the in the cabin. So lots of really interesting questions. But uh, as as you as you know, we don't we don't do the bonus question. No bonus questions here. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the solutions. Make sure that we were on track with most of what we were doing. I definitely think we were. This one again went really smoothly. So if you want to see one that didn't go smoothly, don't don't look at the rest of the playlist. That would be that'd be heinous. Um, okay, we read all of these. Great. Okay, set the index. Perfect. Oh my! Oh my! Oh boy! Oh wow! That is a very nice pie chart with just jarring colors. Um, so, anyways. Okay, well there you go. You can do that, or you can just use the native uh, plotting inside of pandas, and it's just just a little bit less good. I can still kind of show you. Like it doesn't even look that much better, to be frank. Like this is not bad. Um, but I guess this actually does have the percentages on it. Okay. Uh, create a scatter plot with fares paid. Yep, this is great. Um, perfect. Yeah, it looks really nice. Um, the and so yep, yeah, yep, yeah, perfect. Number of survive, 342, histogram with fares paid. Yeah, perfect. And they just use the histogram. I like using displot, so it's uh, it's my favorite. Okay, so if you guys like that, please leave a thumbs up. I really hope that uh, you guys sort of continue liking this content. We're gonna make a little bit more of it, and then we're gonna move on to something that you guys are gonna like just as much. So definitely subscribe, like, hit that alert button, or whatever else those other YouTubers say. Thanks.